up here. I like it. I like it. I like it. Like it. Like it. Makes me wanna do some of this. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Demi. By the title of this video, you know I have another sheet and haul for you guys. I love sheet so much, and it is fall. It is finally fall. Hopefully, it's still fall while you're watching this video. I love to shop during fall. I love to dress up during fall. Fall is my favorite season. So I had to come bring y'all some fall looks. Like I'm not going jump around with all this talking. I'm going to get right into it because the outfit that I'm wearing right now is from Shein. Except the scarf. This is from Al Shams Abayas. If you're interested in hijabs and abayas and elegance and modesty, definitely check out them. They're not sponsoring this video, but I am the creative director there and assistant manager. So Come shop at my store. I'm going to leave the link to our website in the description box. And we do have an actual retail store in Maplewood, New Jersey. Sidebar, my eyelashes might look crazy to y'all right now because I'm really trying to master this whole eyelash game. So I'm going to like do my eyelashes every day for 30 days in hopes that I get better. Today's the first day and they don't look too bad, but the glue on the glue it is gluing honey tomorrow should be better anyway let's get into this look y'all so like i said this entire outfit is from she in from the top to the belt to the skirt to the boots <laughs> everything's from she in um i absolutely love this outfit this wasn't the skirt that i originally wanted to get the skirt was actually i had everything sitting in my cart for a while so it went out of stock and I was sad about that. So I was like, let me hurry up and get all of this together. But I'm not mad at this skirt. It has like layers. Makes me want to do some of this. <laughs> Definitely want to do some of this. It's really cute. Under each ruffle, it has this little tan thing. So I guess the skirt won't be so, I'm going to just say see-through. Because the material is pretty thin. Like I can see my hand like this. So for my modest girls, my muslimas if you want to be like super covered um you don't have to wear something underneath this but you can wear some leggings and it doesn't come all the way down to your ankle so you might want to wear some leggings i opted for some boots that came up a little bit i was hoping that they would come up more but they don't but these boots are so cute i love booties when it comes to shoes booties are my absolute fave they have a chunky heel because I cannot do regular heels for the life of me. Like I can't do like a stiletto or anything like that. But a chunky heel, I am here for it. And don't mind Ash. If I'm Ashy, do not mind Ash because don't be talking about me. Don't be coming to my channel and talking about me. <laughs> so yeah, the top, I could have opted for a extra large maybe. I have really big boobs. So anything that like cinches my waist, it makes my boobs appear bigger. And I don't have a waist. I don't have hips that go coke bottle or nothing like that. But my boobs are huge. I gained some weight and the weight just went straight to my boobs. So it doesn't look too bad right now. But if you have thick boobs, I would definitely opt for a size extra large in this. Everything that I'm wearing is in a large, large, large. This is actually in the medium. I wear size 9, but these came in like European sizes or UK sizes. Something like that. I don't know. They're a 41. Whatever translates to a 9. That's what it is. And I love these boots. They're so comfortable. Like, oh, I could wear these boots all day. Like, these boots were made for walking. Which I think. I feel like this is a super cute fall outfit. Like, I am in love with this outfit. You know, cheetah print. That's for fall. That's definitely for fall. The top don't have really much going on. It's just a simple top. You can't really see the back because I got my scarf. But it's not really anything special. But I just thought this outfit was really cute. Let me know what y'all think. On to the next. This is the next outfit. I don't know if she ain't trying to say I got fat ankles or something. But it's kind of hard zipping up these boots. I don't even have it zipped up all the way. This one actually zipped up fine, but I think she ain't trying to say I got fat ankles. Anyways, I really like this skirt. I got it in a size large. This is how I thought the other skirt would fit or be as long as this skirt. Something like that. I really do like it, but um, I bought this top to go with it. But I just don't like this top with this skirt. Like, this color is really throwing me off. So, 
this is what I came up with. I like how the boots match the skirt and the skirt is very flowy, it's light, and it's thick. This skirt is like flannel material. This is like a long sleeve checkered shirt material. It's a really nice skirt and it goes well with the boots. Even though in the skirt, it's probably like a reddish color, but the boots are actually, I don't know, how would you describe this? Like a mahogany brown? You know, there's so many shades of brown. But the sweater just does not match with this skirt. I put on the same belt that I had on last time. This belt actually comes in a set of three. I was gonna wear a black belt and a black hijab to match, but this sweater is just sticking out to me. This skirt is actually a crop top. I have on a shirt underneath here, so that's not my skin that you're seeing. It's a crop top sweater. This sweater is really nice. It's really comfortable. I mean, I do like the sweater, but I bought it to match the skirt. I don't know. I want to try to see how black looks with it. I'll be right back. I still don't like the top with the skirt, even with the black. This color just doesn't match and i know you don't have to be all matchy matchy when you dress because i'm not matchy matchy all the time but i am pretty matchy matchy most of the time i just don't like the way this looks with this how y'all feel about it let me know all of this is in a size large i don't know if i mentioned that but i know what would work for this look i know how to get me across the bridge i told y'all i know what i was doing i told y'all i know what i was doing I told y'all I knew how to take myself across the bridge. This skirt paired with black and black, this look all right. This looks all right. I like it, I like it, I like it, like it, like it. If you saw my last Shein haul, you know I was saying that I don't know how to style long skirts, but hunty, I styled this sucker. This joint looking good, I like it. Like I said, all this is in a size large. This belt came in as part of a set with the other belt I had on. Let me show you the colors it comes in. So this was the first belt that I had on and this is like a cream tan color and black of course. You know the vibes. On to the next outfit y'all. Y'all know by now, I'm all about giving y'all full looks. Every time I shop on Shein and do a haul, I'm giving y'all full looks. Now, the biker jacket isn't from Shein, and the boots aren't from Shein. This shirt and these pants, these are from Shein. And this is how I would wear it. I got the biker girl vibes going on. I mean, a chill biker vibes. I don't know. When I just think about all leather, I think about biker. Don't ask me why. But this is like chill because this shirt is like super oversized. I'm gonna show y'all the full look though. So this and this came together, it was a set. And I bought it in an extra large because I got big legs, I got big thighs. I'm thick, I got big boobs. I probably could have took this in a large, but I actually love the way this fits. It's a nice oversized look without looking too sloppy. Every time I try to buy something oversized, it just takes a turn for the worse. I feel like I'm already oversized, so it just be looking sloppy but I actually really like the way this looks. These pants, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they kind of look leather and they make this weird noise. Like, hold up. <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> it's like a swishy swish noise. I don't know, but they are really comfortable and they are really stretchy. Anytime I think about something leather, I think about something being tight, squeezed in but I don't feel like that at all. This is all very, very comfortable. And this material, it's super soft. It's not quite as heavy like a sweater, but it's very light and soft. It would be a great fall outfit though. If y'all into oversized, comfy, on the go stuff, then y'all should get this outfit. It's a two piece and it was fairly cheap. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but y'all know who I am, El Cheapo. It was cheap y'all. This is what I have next for you guys. It's a long shirt and I'm actually really surprised about the material because it's like shiny. Can I see it? Yeah, y'all can see it. It's like shiny, it's like silky and it comes with this cute belt. Well, the belt isn't all that cute because it's also shiny, it's giving cheap. I feel like with this, it would have looked way better if it had black buttons instead of the white buttons. I feel like the white buttons are really throwing me off. I'm wearing my gray thigh high boots and my gray hijab. Um, the boots and hijab, not included, not from Shein. 
but um, this is how I would wear it. I feel like I should have ironed it before showing y'all just so y'all could get the full look, but I didn't feel like doing all that, okay? I ain't have time for that. I gotta wear all these clothes. Y'all need to envision it being ironed. So I really like it. I think I got it in a size extra large. I probably could have went down to a large because I mean, it doesn't stretch, but it has a lot of room. I often think that I'm way bigger than what I actually am, so there's that. I would definitely opt for a different belt, especially with these um, buttons, because I don't like the white buttons. Gray buttons would have been good. Black buttons would have been good. These white buttons is just not doing it for me. Oh, I love the color. That's one thing. I love the color. The color is fall. Yeah. This is the shirt dress situation i have two more shirt dresses and they're pretty similar because i was just wondering how can i wear long things that aren't just a dress or something i want to you know wear something different other than an overgarment or an abaya if you don't know what that is look on google look on the internet i'll put a description in my description box <laughs> but yeah i was definitely want to take my modesty up a notch take my fashion up a notch i do really like this i would definitely change the belt i would use a different belt i don't have a belt to match this at the moment because now i'm just now getting into belts and i don't wear belts that often because like i told y'all earlier my boob situation they are huge i don't feel like this amplifies my boobs that much but i don't know i think they were on to something here if i move my hijab you can see that it is collared it's a college shirt. <laughs> Just extend it. What y'all think? Let me know. So I absolutely love this. I'm not gonna move too much because I'm not wearing pants, but the thigh high boots are covering, but I don't want the dress lift up or something. But I love it. It's like a shirt, but you can see the shoulders flare out a little bit. They have little ruffles on them. Let me try to show y'all. <laughs> Yeah, so they have little ruffles on them. I'm not a big ruffler, but that's really cute. It is a collar situation. And the sleeves are kind of puffed. They're kind of puffed. And um, if I wore this outside, I would definitely have on leggings underneath here. It flares out a little bit, which I really like. I'm not sure if I would put a belt on this, but a belt would accentuate it, I think. And I was reading the reviews, they were saying how the bust was a little small. So I got this in a 1X. And it fits perfectly. I really love the way this looks. It looks so cute. Oh, it looks so cute and delicate. I don't know. What do you guys think about it? I just feel like it looks so cute. Give you guys a turn. Hopefully my legs won't be out. <laughs> I don't know how the Muslim community would feel about wearing something short like this with no pants but like I said I would definitely wear pants with this I would definitely wear leggings underneath my thigh high boots I have another one similar to this but it's just a kind of different shape so let's see what that looks like so this is the second dress shirt situation that I have this one is softer than the other one and it's longer as you guys can probably tell but it doesn't have any shape to it that's why I added the belt like, I could wear that one without a belt at all I mean I could wear this one without a belt too but it just it just has no shape to it it's just regular regular but it is much longer like two inches maybe two inches longer than the other dress and the sleeves are different so for this one it has a shirt sleeve i like this one better than this one this one's okay this one is just regular regular i would expect this not that i would expect it but it's just regular for me that other one was taking it to another level. Like, what y'all think? You like this one or the other one better? I'm extra. I'm a little extra. I'm a little jazzy, snazzy, all that kind of stuff. This one is just plain. I mean, it's cute, but it's just rather plain. It'll definitely look cute with a uh, black hijab. Or maybe I could wear a different color belt instead of the belt that I have. I have some brown thigh high boots too. But they're kind of really snug, so I don't like wearing them that much. They're kind of like cowboyish. I don't know. Y'all want to see what they look like with this? Y'all gonna make me put those boots on? Okay. I'm gonna put the boots on for y'all just to get it some flavor. I'll be right back. Okay, these are my brown boots, y'all. I can't remember where I bought them from, but I do remember they were on sale for $3. Y'all, 
I got these boots for three dollars. I cannot remember where I got these boots from. I remember the price because I was so happy to get me some thigh high boots that were that cheap. But this kind of like spices the outfit up a little bit. You know, I got my brown belt back on. This looks really cute. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. What y'all think? What do you guys think about my outfit? I like it. I really do like it. It's cute. It's, it's fallish. It'll look cute with a nice black bag or a nice brown bag or a black and brown bag. You know, my loose baton that I don't have. I ain't got no loose baton, I mean, y'all know this. Come on now. Be real with me. Next outfit, please. So now we have entered Pants Nation. And I must say, these jeans are so stretchy. I actually have them in an extra large. They are high-waisted. And they are truly a large. Like, normally, I don't like to wear pants because... I have big legs and the whole pants situation never worked out for me but these right here these are good i love them so much they went on easily despite all my goodies <laughs> they still went on easily and they're very comfortable and they're very soft like they're not sucking me in like i don't wear jeans at all because i hate that sucky feeling or feeling like i'm being like constricted or something like that but these pants are soft and they have them in a bunch of colors so I'll show y'all how I can stretch and move easily. Wow, these pants are good. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> the top is a flannel, but it's like more dressy. Has some coverage in the back for my Muslim shorties. Um, the bust area is a little tight. I think I got this in an extra large, but I'm not too sure. It might be a large. I think I got it in a large. I think all the tops are large. I was going to put a belt around it, but I felt like it made the bust even tighter, even when I had the belt on not such a tight setting. So this is just it with the belt. I don't know. I feel like it makes my boobs look even bigger. I mean, I know I'm thick, but I just don't like it. I don't know how I really feel about it. The sleeves are the same as that other shirt situation that I had, the black one. I'm really digging the puff sleeves. I think those sleeves are the cutest. I like this without the belt, definitely. And I have the boots on that I had in the first outfit that I love so much because look at me. This outfit was not expensive at all and I am fierce. I am killing it. I am all that. You all of that too, I guess. You all of that, I love you. That's all I really have to say about this outfit. I have one more outfit for you guys, and then that's a wrap. Let's go. Just, I was taking this off, I just wanted to show y'all that the buttons do not come all the way down to the bottom. That's not a problem for me at all. I just wanted to show you the button stop where it starts to get like a skirt. I don't think anything of it. I don't think more of it or less of it. I think the shirt is really cute. Um, it's flannel material. I mean, it's a flannel. It looks like a flannel. It also feels like a flannel. But in case you were wondering if it was a flannel, it is. It's a flannel. Okay, guys. This is my last and final look. I'm glad this is the last look because I absolutely hate everything about this outfit. Pants are cute. In my last Shein haul, I bought some flare out pants. I love those pants so much and they fit so perfect. These are the exact opposite. I mean, they, they're really cute. I love the color. I don't have any jeans this color. It's not a super red color or anything, but like I told y'all, I don't wear jeans. So there's that. Um, They're too small. I got them in a size 30, but I probably should have gotten a size 32 or a size 31. I don't know. The zipper, it just keeps zipping down because they're so like squeezing me in like I know if I get my size they will fit fantastic but these pants are super duper stretchy so if you don't get your right size you might be able to still fit it but I just don't like the sucked in feeling like I was telling y'all earlier they're flare really cute and they're super long I have on my boots again my platforms and they're still touching the floor and dragging on the floor so they are long I'm not the tallest woman. I wear a 58 and a bias, about five, four and a half. So there you go. <laughs> on to the shirt. The shirt is super weird. I don't know what's going on here. It has some type of, it's not even a collar. Like, hold up, is it a collar? Oh, it is a collar. 
It is a collar, but it doesn't have any buttons. It's just open. Y'all know I'm Muslim. Y'all know we Muslim. If you Muslim and you're watching this, I know you're making the same face I'm making. Like, where are the buttons, sis? But check this out. Shein has this cute little piece of fabric. This is a shirt underneath here. But this is a fabric. This is a fake collar. Go on Shein and type in fake collar and you're going to get this thing. This thing is just a cloth that you put over your head and it covers your chest. So if you have an abaya or something that has like a weird opening or something like that or a shirt that's like open like this and don't have no buttons, you can get this cute little collar piece to go up underneath there. And they have different colors. I saw white, I saw blush, $2, $3, something like that. But that was really cute because I have some abayas that do have a slit right here and you do need something to cover it because I don't really like my scarf like this, like covering my entire chest like that, even though I should because I have big boobs, but whatever. Back to the shirt. Yeah, it's really, it's a wear material. It's not really stretchy. The sleeves are like the other things that I showed you guys. It's just not giving. I'm not even gonna turn around and show y'all my booty because I can't be doing all of that, but it's like smushing my booty together my booty cheeks together so not gonna be showing y'all that at all i just don't care for this shirt so let me know what you think about this outfit let me know what you think about any other outfits that i have worn i need to know your opinion oh i have one more thing i have a jacket um i got it in a size large i have big boobs like i keep mentioning so i probably should have got it in extra large Especially because, you know, with jackets, you want them to be a little bigger so you can layer. This is a large. It's like kind of double-breasted. Has gold buttons. You button it like this. You button it like that. Just adjust it. But look at this. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not the worst jacket in the world, but I just don't like it. I would have definitely wanted a extra large, even a 2X, because it's a jacket. It could be a little oversized, you know? It's a mirror right here. I told y'all that. Don't act like I'm just looking off into the abyss, okay? <laughs> I don't like the way the pockets are. Like, look at the pockets. Why are the pockets all the way up here? And they're not even deep. Like, who walking around like this? Who walking around like this? People walk around like this or even like this. What is this? <laughs> Don't like it. Uh, this is definitely going back. Even if I just leave it open, it doesn't really do anything for me. Don't tell me y'all made it all the way to this point of the video and not subscribe to my channel. Y'all try for If you are subscribed, thank you so much. Get your friend because they acting crazy. I just wanted to show y'all this collar situation again. This is a false collar for my muslimas. You just put it over your head like this. And now you have some chest coverage if you have a shirt or an abaya that has like a slit and you need some coverage for your neck. I also want to show you some of the other things I got from Shein. Real quick, real quick. I know y'all tired of sitting here, but real quick. So I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I've been practicing my eyelashes. I'm like really tired right now. That's why my eyes look like, I don't know, my eyes just look different to me because I'm really tired. Right now it's 12, 24 a.m. in the morning, so I'm kind of tired. But yeah, this is the first day of me putting on eyelashes, like trying to really put them on so that I can look fabulous. So these are the ones I normally use. I got these from Amazon. They were like $5, I think. I love the fullness of lashes. Like, I don't like them all extra long, none of that. I just like the fullness. These are the eyelashes I got from Shein. Y'all see them? They didn't look this long to me when I bought them or when I saw them on the website. Or maybe I'm just bugging. But they look so long. I'm definitely returning these. I'm not even going to, like, open the pack because I would never wear something this long. This is crazy. I mean, if you wear super long eyelashes like this, kudos to you i'm sure you look beautiful i'm sure you look great in them but for me this is just <laughs> this is ridiculous so i'm just gonna go ahead and send these back or exchange them for some smaller ones because this is just not for me several days later well i'll put these lashes on as a jokey joke and i'm actually starting to like them now i'm actually starting to like them like i don't have to photoshop my lashes on my picture anymore 
maybe I could sell each individual one. <laughs> Start my eyelash brand from this little pack, imagine. Anyways, yes, yeah, so I bought this. I also bought this. You can't really see it, but I'm gonna put a picture of it right there. But it's a curtain, so I thought this would be like really cute for my living room. When I finally put it up, I'm gonna let y'all know how it looks so y'all can really see what's going on with that. Excuse the raggedy door frame, but this is my new cute little curtain that I got from Shein. It doesn't have as much flowers as the picture said it would have, but it's cute or whatever. Also, last but not least, I got me some press-on nails, y'all. Hold up, let me just open it real quick because y'all need to see. I was excited when I saw this. So it comes with like some jewels. It doesn't come with glue and I forgot to get nail glue, but it does come with jewels and it's in this cute case. I just want to show y'all different colors that I got. These are the nails, y'all. I mean, they're cheap, so you can't expect too much. They are a little transparent. I wonder how that's going to look on my nail. Like, I hope you can't see the glue. I'm definitely going to cut them down because why would I wear my nails this long? I don't do stuff like that. But this color, let me just show y'all the color. Because there's a lot of colors. Come on now. Y'all know I like to have options. This color, this is like purple. This color. Do y'all want to see all the colors or what? Stop rushing me. Let me try to spread them out. <laughs> Hold up. It's neutral. It's like definitely fall colors. Definitely fall colors, if y'all could see. I might try to put some nail polish on them to see how that works. Just to deepen the color. Okay. There they go. This is more colors. Y'all see me with my nails done. Y'all gonna know that I am a nail tech now, okay? I'm putting that on my resume. But that is it for my little sheet and haul. I hope you guys made it to the end of the video. If you did, leave me a flower emoji in the comments. I know y'all don't be commenting on my stuff. I mean, some of y'all do, but some of y'all don't. But if you made it to the end of this video, leave me a flower emoji down in the comments so I can know you're watching my videos and you are here for me because I am here for you. You guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means so much to me. And thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. You guys know I love you so much. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at DemiDawnXL. I would love to interact with y'all there as well. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And don't forget to let me know what your favorite outfit was. Bye. I'm trying to get this camera situation together for a while now. I want to try to be able to see the entire fit to the shoes. Oh wait, I think I got it. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? Princess, can they see me? <laughs> she said yeah.